Hello everyone and welcome to another oddschecker.com slash US preview of a primetime NFL game. I'm Davis Maddock from sportsgrid.com and we are here to break down the Sunday night football game where we have the Tennessee Titans playing at Lambeau, the Green Bay Packers. If you go to oddschecker.com slash US, you'll see that this line is sitting at minus two and a half. You can have the Titans on the money line at plus 135 or you can have the Green Bay Packers at minus 150. The total for this game right now is sitting at 54 and a half, and that definitely is pretty appropriate considering how great both of these offenses have been. The Packers are number three in the NFL in yards per play at 6.2 yards per play. The Titans have also been a very efficient offensive team, though you could argue they limit themselves a little bit as they are also at 6.2 yards per play, but they are at 7.4 net adjusted yards per attempt, same as the Packers. Uh, but yards per or yards per rush, they're actually at five yards per rush. Now you're grand. Now you would say third in the NFL in yards per rush. That's pretty good, right? However, obviously, if they threw more, well, they'd be gaining more yards per play because they are more efficient passing the ball than running the ball. If we take a look at DVOA, we can also see the Titans are definitely, I think a little bit worse than the Green Bay Packers, right? Um, I think that Green Bay is basically, you know, the most efficient offense in the NFL. They're only 0.3% worse than the Kansas City Chiefs, number two in the NFL in offensive DVOA, number 18 in the NFL in defensive DVOA, 26th in special teams DVOA, whereas for the Tennessee Titans, they're pretty close. Third in the NFL in offensive DVOA, but all the way down at 28th in the NFL in defensive DVOA. So this looks like a team where we have two really strong offensive teams. So what do we do if we have two really strong offensive teams? Well, I think that we probably are going to lean on the team with the better quarterback. We believe that that's going to be Aaron Rodgers. I actually think that the Titans maybe have better skill position players, right? A.J. Brown, not nearly as good as Devontae Adams. Of course, you know, Devontae Adams is the best Red zone wide receiver in the NFL, basically been the best wide receiver in the NFL all season long. But the combination of Corey Davis, Jonu Smith, Cameron Batts, and Derrick Henry, I think these guys are all a little bit more efficient, a little bit more skilled than the Green Bay Packers. That being said, I am going to take the Packers here, and I know that's a little bit of, uh, of some backwards logic. So a couple of things are at play here. First, I think the Titans defense is significantly worse than the Green Bay Packers is, and I think that is going to come into play. I think home field is going to come into play a little bit here. I definitely think there's a chance that the Titans come into this game with a really ground-heavy game plan, take advantage of the cold weather, take advantage of the bad Green Bay run defense. However, if you come into a game with a plan to run the ball a lot, you know, get 25 Derrick Henry carries, I don't think that's the most efficient way that they can call plays. And I think the Packers know that, and I don't know if the Titans do, and I think this is something that's really going to impact the Titans in the playoffs as well. I think they're going to go to Derrick Henry a little bit too early and a little bit too often and not rely on Ryan Tannehill quite enough. So I am going to take the Green Bay Packers here, minus two and a half points. I am going to take them on the money line, and then I'm also going to go over on 54 and a half. I feel pretty strongly about the over. You guys know most of the times I'm not that into the totals. I, I prefer the sides, but I, I feel pretty strongly about all these picks here. I do think the Packers offense should be overwhelming, and I do think that the Packers defense is bad enough that we get to the over here. So everyone, uh, make sure to go to oddschecker.com us for all of your updated odds needs and good luck with all your wagers on Sunday night.